Well, morning, y'all. It is the 3rd of April, 2011. And I am out here in the outdoor studio watching the rain come down. Yesterday we beat the record here in Denver at 84, and today we'll be lucky if we get into the 50s. This rain is supposed to turn into snow, which means i probably have to move the pots and some of the seedling trays into the garage office later on today, which I will do. Unfortunately, I will not do it until they get a nice dose of this healthy, god irradiated water. And I've also got some of the rain barrels up and ready to catch. So, I'm digging it. This is good. Let it turn into rain. Let the rain turn into some snow, and maybe we'll get some really good stuff and a good start to the spring season. Anyhow, got up this morning. I've been talking to a few friends out on Facebook, and they were talking about sustainability. Solar power, wind power, creation of jobs. Well, creation of jobs would be good. But sustainability in this society is what's important. And it's not just societal sustainability. It's the individual's ability to sustain themselves. Yes, you're not going to have... There's going to come a time when there's... The grocery shelves are empty, and you're going to really be struggling, but until that time comes, you need to prepare for it. I'm talking stocking up on the essentials, the tobacco, the booze, the food, etc. Wood for heating. Prepare for the inevitable. How do you do that? Sustainability. It's not buying a new car every four years and getting into debt. It's not going out and buying new houses or big pieces of property in the middle of Idaho that you're not going to be able to subsist on without a lot of work. It's taking what you have now and building upon it. Most of us have some place that we plug this compu plug our computer in and call it the internet. Wherever that is, is where you need to begin your, sustain, your sustenance preps. If you've got a fireplace in an apartment, keep wood. If you've got a wood stove in a house, keep it going. If you've got whatever you have is what you need to create and to further enhance. Now, is it easy? Hell no. Can you go down to the local Macy's or Bloomingdale's or whatever and get this stuff? No. This is stuff that needs to be found and needs to be used. And that's what I'm saying today. It's just make sustainability your new buzzword. How can I make what I have more efficient, more sustainable? I know I hate that term. I'm beginning to get, you know, buzzwords are buzzwords around this country, so. But sustainability is the word for today. And it's the word as we go into the future. So, as for politics, well, sustainability needs to be part of that politics. And unfortunately, your government is not being very sustainable. They're taking us down the road to nowhere. So, well... I've had my say for this morning. Apparently it works. So have a good day, and I will talk to you next week. Trash out.